Yes, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Victor Brown Jr. with Victor One Lawn Care. I hope everybody is doing well today. We wanted to give our audience an opportunity to be able to see the investments that we've made over the past 13 years. Uh, we've been in business now since 2009. And uh, it's been a great run thus far. Uh, we've been learning quite a bit of information along the way. And um, it's been very exciting up to this point. Uh, we're very passionate about the services that we provide, and um, it's been it's been really great. Uh, we've done a lot of, of a variety of different uh, residential services, uh, from just doing uh, mowing and mulching services, shrubbery trimming, uh, aeration services, uh, tree cr tree cutting, uh, crate myrtle tree pruning, uh, full renovation projects, brush cutting. Uh, pine needle installs, sod installs. Uh, we've done all of those different services to get us to this point right here, right now. Uh, we do have a landscape contractor's license, and we also have a pesticide license as well. We also have about four certifications, and these certifications gives us the ability to be able to bid on city, state, and federal work. And uh, there's a lot of different agencies within, within the city and state level and uh, if you meet the criteria, you know, you'll have the option to be able to bid on that, that city and state and federal, federal level work. And uh, that's where we are right now. We're in uh, commercial mowing and we're managing athletic fields as well. Um, so uh, at this moment in time, we wanted to do a lawn care setup video for 2022. Uh, just once again, so that you know, we are in the commercial world uh, doing commercial mowing uh, the brands that we're going to show you here, uh, we're not sponsored by any of these brands at all. Uh, we just make our investments accordingly to how we see fit. Um, so uh, with all of that being said, um, just know that we're not sponsored by any of these, um, you know, by any of these brands at all. You know, we buy our, our investments. Uh, we'll make, we make our investments accordingly to how we see fit from one dealer. And that's, that's just what that has been over the course of time. You know, we, based on, where we, based on uh, where we are with our work, you know, we just pretty much buy accordingly to how we see fit. So uh, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is the uh, standard right ZK. Um, it's the Vanguard 37 horsepower EFI. Um, it does have the two 10-gallon tanks on each side. It does have the airless twills as well. It does have that weed eater holder on it also so that we can be able to transport that weed eater to and fro. Uh, this mower has roughly 340 hours on it at this moment in time right now, so it'll be getting used every day throughout the season. And we look forward to it continuing to serve its purpose for us. Uh, that's really all about the right ZK. Um, it's a stand on mower, so it's very versatile and and uh, it's performing the way we need it to. Uh, next up on the list is is the 61 inch right ZK. Um, it is the 29 horsepower EFI. It's the Kohler, and this is the 61 inch. Uh, we don't have any airless twills on this on this uh, unit here. Uh, but we're thinking about uh, adding the airless twills on this particular unit too also. Uh, this unit has roughly 960 hours on it at this moment in time, so it's one of our oldest units. And um, it's been serving, serving its purpose for us for what we needed to do as well. And, um, you know, it's not easy to keep the, the, um, the decks clean uh, just because of the wet grass that we're out there cutting and so on and so forth. So. You know, we try to do the best we can to keep it clean, but um, you know, the main thing that we're we're concerned about is that it's making money for us. So um, that's pretty much it. I mean, we won't do any additional modifications on this unit other than possibly adding the the airless twills. Um, next here is one of my backup mowers, which is the Skag B Ride 52 inch. Um, it is the Kohler. It is the 25 horsepower 747 EFI. I believe it has about eight, it holds about eight and a half gallons. 
worth of gas. And it does have the grass chute block on it as well to where you can open and close that grass chute. Um, it only has 400 hours on this unit. And um, it's, it's serving its purpose for us for what we needed to do as well. It's a backup mower. I do have, uh, I have two backups right now. I have a John, uh, a John Deere Z950, which that's a zero turn. And then I have the Skag V-Ride 2 um, as, a, as the second backup. So if the, in the event that a 72 inch goes down or the 61 inch goes down, um, I have my uh, V-Ride 2 and as well my John Deere Z950 to help me still get work done while these two mowers possibly may need parts or needing to be serviced. So sometimes that's just the way it goes. But as long as you have some backups for you to still continue to keep going so that you don't really miss a beat, then uh, that's, 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 what it, that's what it will continue to be. And we have other equipment as well that we'll be able to show not necessarily on this video, but in our up and coming videos, we will provide more content showing, showing our trucks and some of our other mowers as well. So next we have is the uh, Grounds Master. Uh, this is the 3500D. This is with Toro. Uh, this is like a finishing mower. So we uh, cut um, a, lot of, a lot of athletic fields with this particular unit. Uh, we generally cut um, our athletic fields two to three times out of the week. And uh, this mower has um, two, it has three, three decks. So you have two here in the front with your lights here in the front. And also you have a, you have a deck back here as well, which is under the engine. And uh, this is the Toro Groundsmaster 3500D, which stands for diesel. So it is a diesel engine. It does take diesel gas. Uh, it approximately has uh, about 1,000 hours on it right now. So, I mean, it's still in great condition. It'll continue to serve its purpose for it for what we need to do as far as it cutting the athletic fields. Uh, right now, we're cutting on one and one third of an inch. Um, that's what it'll stay on as far as the height that we needed to the height that we need to be able to cut on week in and week out. Uh, this mower is already ready to go. It's fresh with the oil and and the blades and, and the grease, so it's ready to go this season. A lot of the times we will service our own equipment. But then when we get to the winter time, uh, we'll, we'll uh, take it into our dealer and let them service it and let them winterize it so that it's ready to go for, for the next season. The only thing I would really change about this unit here is just the seat. You know, I'm not too, uh, too fond of the seat, but uh, other than that, it's a, it's a good unit. It does have a caution fan as well, and that caution fan gives you the ability to be able to stay cool while you're out there cutting. Uh, so you won't break a sweat at all when you're out here cutting on this, uh, cutting with this unit here. And uh, this is a grounds master, ladies and gentlemen. You know, it's taking a lot of hard work and sacrifice and just saving the money over the years and, you know, working in the business and working on the business all at the same time. But, you know, we're here and, you know, we know that this is not the end all and be all. Uh, we, we're continuing to try to scale up and, and continue to climb higher heights uh, as we continue to uh, grow in the, in the, in the company. So uh, we're, we're very happy with where we are and um, we'll continue to march forward uh, one, one day at a time. Um, next on our list is the, uh, this is the newest piece of equipment to our unit or to our fleet, excuse me. Uh, this, is, this is the uh, Toro uh, Z Master uh, 7500G model. Uh, this is the 96 Horizon Technology, 12 and a half gallons. It does have the airless wheels on it already. Um, you know, this is our uh, newest unit to the, to the fleet. It'll serve its purpose for what we needed to do. Cut our time down in half and cut our work down in half and still give us the opportunity to take on new assignments with, what, with, uh, with, with the new opportunities that will be out there for us as well. So um, instead of it taking us five days to do what we need to do, it's, we're looking at three days. And, um, you know, those other two days are still, you know, open for us to still, you know, do, do other, other assignments or take on other work, whatever that may be. Um, but we 
definitely uh, look forward to uh, utilizing this piece of equipment this season. Um, you know, um, it does have uh, three decks. Uh, you have your middle deck here. You have your east wing and your west wing. Uh, you have two pins on each side of the deck uh, to change uh, your your pins for, for your mowing height. So, um, you know, right now we have the pins on three and a quarter. And, um, you know, when you need to adjust them, then, you know, you just take your pins out and, and set them accordingly to your to the height that you need to cut on. And uh, that's, that's really all as far as the 7500G Z Master. I mean, this is going to help us once again. We, we cut a lot of large sites and so on and so forth. And uh, this more here will help with uh, production and, um, you know, with us getting a lot of work still accomplished like we need to. So, um, yep, that's really all that we have. We appreciate everybody uh, watching this video. Uh, don't hesitate to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, we'll continue to provide more content along the way. Uh, kind of give you, uh, we'll, we'll show you more content with showing, showing the work that we do uh, right now on a commercial level. And um, that's just where we stand, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope that you guys was pleased with, with the video and uh, we'll, we'll catch up next time. Thanks.